Hello everyone. It's the new course in year two semester one. I'm your lecturer teaching you. Did you like to study year two semester one? In year two semester one, you have to study three stories. First one, the rent camp. Scan one, the cry freedom. And last one, the, ha uh, the house of the archer. So now you start the first story, the rent camp. Place prints the cost book of the rent camp. I sent to everyone through the telegram and the handout of the three story that then came the crack with them at the house of Arthur. Now we start the rent camp. And I would like to tell you the main characters in the rent camp. One is Lago. Lapung O is Ogunda's father. Lapung O is a chief of the village, or we can call a head of the village. He has five wives and 20 children. He is devoted his life for the people and his family. But he isn't happy after leaving the meeting. Number two, Ogonda, a doctor of Labung O, sees one of a doctors. Sorry, one of the children because Lao O has 19 sons and a daughter. Lao O loves her very much. Not only Lao O, but the people in the village and his brother, sorry, in her brother. Especially her stepmother. Number four, NTD. NTD is a medicine man. Because of NTD, Lebong O is sad. Lebong O is disappointed. Why? He told the meeting of the of the heads of the village about the draft. Draft. You see what the draft mean? Mean no rent. And number five, Lavong O wife. Lavong O has five wives. The first wife could the force could not bear him a doctor. That's why that's why he gets a fifth one and his last wife bore him one baby daughter. Number six, the people. The people are also the main character in the story because they met Lapung O sad, either sad or happy. And in the story, the people was very sad during the running season, wise, because there was no rent. 
but after the meeting they were happy because Labong O told them that Oganda will sacrifice her life for the people to get rent. And how about Kodo, uh, Kodu? Kodu is the ancestor of Lu. And Lu is the name of the tribe in Kenya, the name of the tribe, or we can say the clan of the tribe in Kenya. Now we start comparison question and discussion question from page 77 to 81. Describe the village atmosphere when there was no rain. What did the village chief and the villagers do to deal with his rain problem before NTD announcement? Sorry, announced his dream in the meeting. What do you learn from? This situation. You can see on page 77, paragraph 1, line, sorry, paragraph 2, lines 1, or we can see on page 77, line 7. The atmosphere in the village was tense and confused. Why it was tense and confused? Because you can see the people came to Labo O House and told Labo O that where the rent is, where the rent is. Because the animal, mean dog, cows, cat dies day by day. And after that, their children will die soon. You see, what is, what was about the people in the village? Everyone moved endlessly and, and fought in the yard without actually doing any work because there was no rain. They just sat in group and talked about the rain, when the rain came, when the rain came. And some people came to Labongo Hall and asked him, and Want, they want to get a new how level O deal with this problem. What do you learn from this situation? If you were level O, if you were the people in the story. I think you must have been said. You must have been worried about the life of your family and the animal because the people of Lu lived on doing farming. No rent, no life. Number two, how was Oganda? treated by her family and her people before the new of her sacrifice was announced. You can see on page 28, line 15, the people loved her very much. Everyone loved her very much because she's a lovely doctor of Level O, a village. Number 
country. What did Lavong O mean when he was thinking that he would never be the same cheese again? Yeah, you can see on page uh, 77, line 25. Right? Why? He didn't want to be a village chief. You can see. He said, I must not be a chief anymore. Why? Because his lovely daughter Oganda died soon for the people. He could not live without Oganda. Oganda was his apple eye, was his soul. But because of no running, she must sacrifice her life for the people. It is the belief, the people believe. When there was no rain, one of a person living in the village sacrificed for the lake monster. Question number four. What did Lavong O promise when he was in front to be the chief of the people, what might have happened to Labong O and his family if he refused to let Oganda die as sacrifice to the lake monster. You see on page 78, line, line 5, everyone, before getting the position as a chief of the village, he promised, I will lay down my life if necessary and the life of my household to save this tribe from the hands of the enemy. It means that he not only killed himself, but also everyone in, the, in his family for the people, to survive the people. And what might have happened to Labung O and his family if he refused to let Wanda die as certification to the light monster? It's your own idea. But mine, I think the people would have killed Labung O and every Household. Sometimes they may catch them from the village, or they must have disowned them from the Lou clan. Question number five. What can you say about Labong O characteristic of this plant? You see, before the meeting and after the meeting. Before the meeting, he was a good leader. He was brave. He sacrificed everything for the people and his family. But after meeting, knowing that his lovely daughter Oganda died for the people for rent, he became disappointed, sad, resentful. He weak, he is not strong enough. He could not control 
his feeling because his lovely adorable daughter died. And number five, what uh, number say? How many young men were on the scene as her suitor? It means that how many men or young men loves Oganda? In the story, there are three men. The first one, all Sinda. He was one. He was a brave one. Second one. Kate. Kate, right, is a son of neighborhood, a clean elder. He's very handsome. And the third one. Demo. Demo also loves Oganda. He's a, a tall young man with brails and a great wrestler. But he's too poor. We are always arguing and ready to fight. He loves fighting. But which one? Oganda decided to choose O Sinda. Why? Because Osinda is a brave one, a brave man, and he would he would uh, do everything to save for her love. And in the story, Osinda gave Ovanda the chain. Right, a chain. You can see some more information in the story. And in the story, all Sinda survives open the frown, sacrificing to the light monster. Number seven, why do you think Oganda grandmother came to stand bearing the door of the hut where Oganda was staying? Expand your idea. You see, on page 80, line 23, you see why? Right, you see here, everyone. The outside of the hut, we can say the hut's out. Also, in that, the people were very happy because Oganda kills or dies for the people. After her sacrifice, the rain will come. And why her grandmother barred the door of the hut? Because she doesn't want or she didn't want often that no the issue, no the problem. No she is going to sacrifice her life for the people. Question number eight. Why did Oganda say that she wouldn't marry any men? That her family chose for her. You can see on page 80, line 13. Here she said, I won't marry any of them. She smiled. 
but actually she wanted to get married but it is only her excuse it is her excuse because in the cost book she said i would tell them all Sinda is you can say Osinda is her husband, future husband. She's pleased with Osinda. Question number nine. What was Oganda reaction as soon as she learned that she was going to die. If you were in her situation, what would you react differently explain? Yes, on page 80, line 20. Yeah, line 20. She was sad. She was disappointed. She was resentful. And she said, why? The lake monster chose me to sacrifice for him. And how about another daughter living in the village? They will marry soon. They will have family, they will have children and wife. I sacrifice for them to survive their living. You see, on page 80, line 20. Right? And Talking about her mother, she got faint and she felt panicky. Such as a mouth is ready to be caught by the cat. Number two, comprehension question. What time and what kinds of day were when the story took place? What time? You can see on page 82, line 6. It is said, in the afternoon, the whole village stood at the gates to say goodbye to see her for the last time. In the noon, and what kind of day? What kind of season? It was raining season, but it's so hot because of no rain. Question number two, how many wives did Lamon O have? I have told you in the main character in the first slide. He had five wives. And why did he have more than one wife? Because the first, the second, the third, the, the fourth could not bear him a baby daughter only son. He had 20 children, but one of them was a lovely doctor Okanda. Question number three, describe NTD dream. How much did the dream of Christ level O Y? On page 
thì eighty two line twenty eight you can see oh I'm sorry not on page eighty two on page seventy eight You can read by yourself in MTD Dream here. Both do the ancestor of the Lou appear to me in the dream last night, and he asked me to speak to the chief and the people. MTD had said to the gatherings of the Christ Min, a young woman who had who has not known a man must die, so that the country may have bread. While the Padu was still talking to me, I saw a young woman standing at the lake side. Her hand rests above her head. Her skin was as a tender young deer. Her tall, slender fingers stood like a lovely reed at the river bank. Her sleepy eyes wore a set looks like that of a hervid mother. She wore a gold ring on her left ear and a glistering brass chain around her waist. It's his entity dream. After hearing that, Lemon O thought that it was my lovely doctor opened up. La Bong O, walk is sinful, walk is striking, was panicky because Osinda was his one lovely doctor. He could not live without Osinda. And question number four, what was the will of jury act? When Labong O announced that Oganda was to die as a sacrifice so that they would have read. You can see on page 79, line 21. Here, you can see 21. Hearing that, what Labong O said, they were stands for what? And then they were cheerful, they were happy, they sing and dance. And they say, Thank Oganda for your sacrifice for our lives, for our children, for our animals, and for our claim. But Oganda was not happy. Seeing that you can characterize the people who they are, they were selfish. They didn't. They didn't care, or they do not care about the other life, but they are living. Number five, what made Oganda think that her people were discussing about her marriage? Before, she saw that her people discussed about her marriage because she's old enough and she has 
streaming to love her. Osinda. You can see. Wait, wait, everyone. H and B mode. Everyone, it is only the part of the information written in the story of Wanda. The Ren Kem, please read my mom. And I will meet you in the Zoom meeting on Tuesday at 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. See you on I'm sorry, not Tuesday, Wednesday. See you on Wednesday, everyone.